A portion of this video is sponsored by Tenorshare Reboot, the world's leading software to solve iPhone and iPad booting problems. How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to fix a common iPhone problem, which is blurry photos and videos. So you go ahead, open up your camera app, take a few photos or start recording videos and then you realize that the image is a little bit blurry, a little bit foggy, maybe a little bit washed. Especially at night, you may have results like this. You take a photo and you see distortions on lights. This is so, so common, guys. Blurry photos and videos. And today, I'm going to teach you how to fix it. And in fact, it's super easy. So let's get started. So the first thing you got to do is actually take a look at the cameras themselves because this is generally what causes the problem. Cameras that are too dirty or maybe a little bit greasy, just dirty overall because of your use. It's so common that we actually touch the camera lenses, we touch the cameras, and as you know, our fingers are a little bit greasy, so it's common that uh, they get dirty. Therefore, when we go ahead and take photos and videos, our photos and videos get extremely dirty. So to fix it, as you can imagine, all you got to do is clean it. But please don't go ahead and use your t-shirt or your pair of jeans because it may damage or scratch the, the lenses, the glass right here, even though it's a very tough glass. So I do recommend that you go ahead and use microfiber cloth. So grab a microfiber cloth. Uh, it may be like this one from Apple or maybe from your pair of glasses, your sunglasses. It's very common. You probably have one of those laying around in your house. Uh, go ahead and then clean the lenses. Just like that, clean the lenses, apply a little bit of force, not too much, but not too little, and then clean them. And in just five seconds, you're ready. That's it. If you don't have a microfiber cloth, what you can actually do is use a soft cloth. Just please don't use a tough fabric because you may actually damage the lenses, as I said before. But if even after a thorough cleaning, you still get blurry photos and videos, maybe the cause of the issue is actually this, a camera protector. Maybe you have one of those little things installed on your iPhone right here on top of the camera module protecting your lenses. This is so, so common, guys. I'm seeing this on many, many iPhones. People are really, really using this. It's getting more and more popular just because the iPhone cameras are getting bigger, uh, they're getting larger, and then people are afraid they'll crack, they'll break. So then they get one of those uh, camera protectors in order to protect the cameras. But the problem is they are not 100% clear and they are not 100% transparent. Since they are not transparent and clear, they may cause this issue. They may cause distortion and blurriness from photos and videos. So this is very, very common just because those little things are not really high quality. Those are just cheap pieces of glass compared to the expensive uh, lenses we have right here. Placing it on top may cause this issue. So if you do have it, so even after cleaning, you still have this problem and you have one of those uh, camera protectors on top of your iPhone camera module, I do recommend that you peel it off, you remove it completely because this is most likely the source of the issue. Also pay attention to cases. Uh, depending on the iPhone case that you use, if you use, uh, they don't have a nice cutout like this one, which is the Apple clear case. Sometimes uh, it's very common to see cases that actually go over uh, the camera module and this may cause the very same problem as I was talking about in the camera protector. So if you have anything on top of your camera lenses, make sure to remove, take it out, test it because it's most likely what's causing it. But before I continue, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video, Reboot. Guys, trust me when I say this, Reboot is the software to go if you have any booting problems with your iPhone or your iPad. And on top of that, Reboot is compatible with Mac and PC. So let's say your iPhone has this screen. It's on recovery mode, as you guys can see, and you can't do anything. You can't boot the device, you can't turn it on. Uh, if you try to exit the screen, press any buttons, nothing you do, you're completely stuck in recovery mode. Well, Reboot can help you out so, so easily. All you gotta do is plug it into the computer, have Reboot opened, and then instantly 
you can just ignore the iTunes information. And then instantly, as you can see right here, you can exit recovery mode. With one click, it'll start exiting recovery mode. And the best news is no data loss. You will not lose any data. Unlike other software that will do this, you will not lose any data. It will just exit recovery mode. And then when it turns on, your iPhone will be back to normal as if nothing happened. As you guys can see, my iPhone is back to normal. Let me just put in my passcode, tap on OK. And as you guys can see, my iPhone is back to normal with all of my apps, all of my notifications, everything is normal as if nothing ever happened. And Reboot can do so much more than this because it has an iOS system repair tool inside that can repair over 150 problems. Like for example, your iPhone is stuck with the Apple logo, is in a reboot loop, uh, maybe you have a black screen, a white screen. It doesn't matter which problem your iPhone may have, Reboot can solve it with its system repair and it can do it so, so easily. So go ahead, download Reboot right now, first link in the description and take advantage of this amazing software, again, compatible with Mac and PC. Now, let's get back to the video. But if even after doing all of that, you're still getting blurry photos and videos, maybe you have a software issue. This happens, it's not so common, but it does happen. So what I do recommend you to do is actually reset your iPhone. In order to reset your iPhone, you're gonna need to go to your settings. Then of course, make sure to perform your iCloud backup so you don't lose your files. And then go to general, scroll down, go to reset iPhone, and then erase all content and settings. If you're not really comfortable doing this, if you don't really know how to do it, I have a specific video right here on the channel on how to actually reset your iPhone without losing any of your data. So I recommend that you go ahead, click on this card or in the link in the description and follow my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it. By erasing all content and settings, therefore by resetting your iPhone, you're gonna make sure that you clear any software problems. But if even resetting your iPhone doesn't fix it, then you definitely have a hardware issue. So then you have a problem with your camera or one of the cameras or something in the camera module. So you definitely have some problem here that needs, that needs assistance. Therefore, you gotta take it to an Apple store. They gotta take a look and fix what's wrong. Maybe you dropped your iPhone, maybe your iPhone has a problem and then Apple will fix it, right? Open it up and fix it depending on the issue it may even be free, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what I wanted to show you, how to actually fix this annoying problem that we've all seen at least once, blurry photos and videos on the iPhone, all right? If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. It always helps us so much. On top of that, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And last but not least, hit the comment box down below and tell me your feedback, tell me what you thought about the video. I always do appreciate your feedback, all right? So that's it, and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye-bye.